Rapunzel In a land, far away, lived a poor farmer and his wife. One day, they tried to pluck fruits from their neighbor's garden. But, little did they know, that their neighbor was actually an old, wicked witch. When she saw the farmer and his wife stealing her fruits, she screamed, I'll turn you into a rat. The couple trembled with fear. Finally, the witch said, I'll let you go, but you have to give me your first child. They were so scared, that they immediately agreed and fled. A few years later, a beautiful baby girl was born to the farmer and his wife. Immediately, the old witch came and snatched the girl away from them. She named her Rapunzel and the witch kept her locked up in a tall tower. She grew up to be a beautiful girl. But her most beautiful feature was her long, golden hair. Every day, the witch used to come to the foot of the tower and call, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Rapunzel let her long play fall out the window, and the witch used to hold onto it and climb up. One day, a prince who was passing by heard a song coming from the tall tower. Curiously, he followed the voice. There, he saw the old lady. He hid behind the trees and watched the witch. As soon as she left, he too decided to try. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. He cried and climbed up into her room. She was stunned to see the prince. She had never seen anybody so handsome. The prince too fell in love with her. They began to meet secretly every day after the witch left. One day, Rapunzel mistakenly said to the witch, You are so much heavier than my prince. The witch realized what has been going on. She screamed and shouted in anger. She cut off her hair and sent her off deep into the forest. That day, when the prince came, he found the witch waiting for him at the tower. She cursed and screamed some more, before casting a spell on him, that made the prince lose his sight. The prince, now blind and with a broken heart, wandered through the forests. Many days later, Rapunzel found him wounded amongst the trees. She began to cry at the sorry sight of her prince. But as soon as her tears fell on him, his wounds healed, and his eyesight returned. The first thing the prince saw was his beloved. They were overjoyed to find each other again. They went away to his kingdom and lived happily ever after, far away from the wicked witch. Moral of the story. When something is destined to happen then no one, no matter how much power one has, can stop that from happening. Rapunzel There once lived a poor woodcutter, his wife, and their two children, Hansel and Gretel. They were poor. The woodcutter and his wife could not take care of their children anymore. So, the woodcutter's wife said, Leave them in the middle of the forest and let them live on their own. When Hansel heard about this, he got very scared. Then he came up with a plan of dropping pebbles along the way their father took them. All they had to do was to follow the line of pebbles back home. After a while, their father said, Wait here, I will be back soon. And left them below a tree. But, their father never returned. When the sun went down, they started following the line of pebbles. Their parents were surprised to see them back and decided to take them again. This time, Hansel and Gretel decided to drop breadcrumbs as their pebbles were gone. But sadly, for the children, the birds ate up all the crumbs. They walked and walked but could not find their way back home. Hansel said, Gretel, let's wait for him below the tree till tomorrow morning. We will find our home. Okay. Gretel said softly. 
The next day, they saw a strange house made up of cookies, candies, and chocolates. They were hungry so they started eating the candies from the door. While they were eating the yummy door, a witch bounced on them. She offered cookies to eat, and a place to rest. But when Hansel and Gretel woke up, she locked Hansel in a cage and asked Gretel, Go and heat the oven. I would like to eat him. But just as the witch bent to check the oven's temperature, Gretel pushed her from behind and locked the oven door. Gretel rescued Hansel and they filled their pockets with the witch's jewels. Finally, they managed to find their way back home and gave the jewels to their parents. Thanks to the clever children, the family was never poor nor hungry again. Moral of the story. Do not trust strangers, even if they treat you well. Hansel and Gretel. Once upon a time, there was a grassy brook with a freshwater pond. A lot of animals, birds and aquatic life lived there. Among them, was a turtle and two ducks, who were very good friends. One summer, it was very hot, and the pond dried up. The two ducks decided that they could no longer live here. They told the turtle, Friend, it is very hot and barren for us to live here anymore. We are planning to move away to another pond. The turtle was very upset and cried, Please don't leave me behind. The ducks were shocked and asked, You cannot fly. How can we take you with us? The turtle thought, and replied, You can carry me with you. The ducks thought about this plan and agreed. The turtle was very happy and said, Thank you, my friends. I am so grateful. We will live happily together in the new pond. The ducks found a stick lying nearby. They told the turtle, Grab onto the stick with your mouth. We will carry you to a new pond. The turtle did as he was told and grabbed on. The ducks flew high and fast, with the turtle hanging onto the stick. They were flying over a small town. The people looked up and yelled, Look! What a strange sight! The turtle got very angry and yelled, I am not strange, I am special. The turtle had forgotten that he had to hold on to the stick, and not open his mouth. The second he yelled at the people, he fell from the sky. Moral of the story. Foolish curiosity and vanity often lead to misfortune. The Ducks and the Turtle Once upon a time, there was a 